hey guys, it is John from Watson Baptist Church, and we are still stuck in social distancing mode here. But I had to break down and go to Walmart today looking for toilet paper. Sadly, they did not have any toilet paper, but they did have Q-tips. And no, you cannot use Q-tips for that, but you can use them for... Fun with crafts. All right. What I wanted to try to do today is a form of art called pointillism. Pointillism was created by Georges Seurat, and it's called pointillism because it's just that. You use these tiny dots of paint and you put them all together, and combine them, and they make a painting. Seurat's most famous painting, Sunday Afternoon on Grand Jat, was used over 6.4 million dots. Now I'm cheating and I'm using Q-tips here, and I'm gonna make bigger dots because I'm in a hurry. So this is not exactly pointillism that I'm gonna be doing today. Technically, I think you should call it Q-tipism. So check this out. Time out. I, I think that I'm getting like Q-tip cramps or something. This this actually really hurts. Like right here in the good old carpal tunnel area. I don't know. And it's taking a lot longer than I thought. You know, Surratt's painting a Sunday on Grand Jatte. He used a 10 foot wide, six foot tall canvas. I'm glad that my little canvas here is just about a foot squared, so I, I know I shouldn't complain, and I'm not gonna have to use six and a half million dots or anything, but this is taking a lot longer than I thought it was. I, I hope y'all appreciate this. Like I said, I'm not gonna have to use six million dots or anything, but it's gonna be a lot. And I can give you a good guess as to how many this is gonna take. It looks like I've used almost 200 Q-tips or so, and I used each Q-tip about 10 times. So this painting is gonna take well over 2,000 dots. You see that? Did I mention that my hand hurts? And this is kind of this is kind of gross. You see all these used Q-tips. It looks like I was cleaning out a unicorn's ears or something. This rainbow of Q-tip color. And here we go, 2,000 plus dots later, my own little scenic image using pointillism or cutipalism, and I am gonna trademark that word. And I call this piece here, Sunset in El Paso. Now, take a look at this. Just one solitary red dot. That is not quite as impressive on its own, is it? One of the things I love about pointillism is I think it's a great metaphor for the church. 
Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 that the church is one body with many parts. He also wrote that each believer has been given a different spiritual gift or gifts. And these gifts, they are just the right fit for us. And we are to use them along with our talents and abilities to serve each other, to build up the church and to glorify Jesus Christ. And each believer is unique with our gifts and talents. If you were to compare it to being like art, it's like every single Christian is their own special color of paint that God has made each of us out to be. Only we can't do very much on our own, can we? One colorful dot can't complement and enhance and combine with other dots, not when it's part of the painting, not when it's not on the same canvas. I think in the same way, believers in Christ, we were made to be together to worship together, to serve together, to fellowship together, to grow in Christ's likeness together, to, to share the gospel together, not to be dots all by our lonely selves. You know, George Surratt, he actually once said that great things are done by a series of small things brought together. In other words, if you really want to make your mark and make your mark count for God, the master artist the best place for you and me to do that is to be on the canvas with all the other colorful dots, to be plugged in and part of a church family. So make your mark count. Be together. Thank you so much for watching.